Okay, yes, Boogs, are you ready to film too? Are you sitting right below the camera in mm, one of the most precarious spots you could be sitting? Look at this, look at this helper. Yes, you are helping. Look at this. I of course have the camera set up on top of a box, on top of a stool. Do I have a tripod? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Am I gonna use it? <laughs> no, absolutely not. This is where our little one wants to sit. Oh, look at that face. Cute. Oh, oh yeah, turning it on. Turn it on for the camera, baby. She's a star and she knows it. Okay, let's get into it. Have I worn this absolute atrocity of a shirt before on this channel? I can't remember. And before I donated it to the thrift store, I wanted to make sure that it, it had its moment. This shirt should have stayed my gay secret. For today's, am I recording? Oh, why do I do this to myself? For today's video, I heard you all. I heard you all loud and clear on the last reacting to your gay secrets video. The comment section, more, more, more. You want more. And I have some good news for you uh, because I, I definitely have more. I opened up the submissions form just before sitting down to film this video and there are almost 2,000 Secrets? 1,924 to be exact. The link will be in the description if you have a queer or gay secret that you wanna share with me so that I can share it back with all of you, anonymously of course. Tell me your secrets, tell me your confessions, I want to know them all. And so do all of you, apparently, you snoopy little queers. <laughs> and for any of you who don't know me, have never seen my face before, hi, my name is Elena Joy. I make videos mostly about the LGBTQ community here on this channel, and sometimes I do videos just for fun. This one's both gay and fun, so we can't go wrong. Hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already, because that's where the magic happens. And let's get into the secrets. I'm gay. <laughs> And that's that. That's the end of that sentence. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to secret 1000. Just right in the middle and see where we're at. We're gonna go from there. Oh! <laughs> What's your gayest secret? That I'm gay. Thank you so much, anonymous contributor. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm 17 going on 18, the Sound of Music reference, and I had a girlfriend two years, which one of the years I went to a Christian school while nobody knew it in my class. Also, I'm friends with benefits with her now, so yeah. Is that gay enough for you? By the way, love the shirts you wear. I read that secret just for that last part. So suck it, everyone else. <laughs> this 17-year-old likes my shirts, so they're staying. I am hip and cool. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, this one takes a turn at the end and it's not even gay? Before I knew what gay was, I was having a sleepover with a friend and we watched a few episodes of Glee with Santana and Brittany. This friend explained to me that women can be attracted to women and men can be attracted to men. That night I had a dream that I had sex with said friend. Nothing ca- Oh, I understand the twist now. <laughs> That night, I had a dream that I had sex with said friend. Nothing came of it except a little bit of awkwardness on my part. A few months later, I found out that my friend was actually my mom's sister, my aunt, that is about the same age as me because her dad slept around a lot. Nobody knows that this was my gay awakening. Your aunt was your gay awakening. <laughs> I'm not judging, I'm not judging. I'm laughing with you. Are you laughing? I hope you are because that's hilarious. <laughs> I think I'm fine with any pronouns and fall under bisexuality as an umbrella term, but I won't ever come out. I'm fine with my at birth assigned gender and the pronouns that come with it. I'm attracted to the opposite gender, so I don't have a reason to come out. I can easily fake being what my family sees as normal. And in my head, this also prevents me from ever harming the community as I see myself as a fake queer and I'm afraid of this being a phase. To clarify, I live in a homophobic household. I'm a minor and I can't move out and probably have internalized homophobia. Just because within your sexuality, you're also attracted to the opposite gender, doesn't mean that you have any less reason to come out. Just because you can, as you say, fake living a normal life, doesn't mean that you are any less valid or have any less reason to come out or need to come out. I understand this feeling. 
I understand it deeply. When I thought I was bi, I was in a, a loving, happy relationship with a man and I often thought to myself, why would I ever come out? Why would I ever need to come out? I don't want to stir the pot. I don't want to risk upsetting anybody. Why risk other people's comfort? Why risk my relationships with other people when I'm already living a straight passing life? Isn't that good enough? And I was wrong. I was wrong. It's one thing to be a minor and to be living in your parents' household and for your own safety and well-being to not be able to come out. I totally understand that. Just know that in the future, you'll be able to build a life for yourself where you can be who you are, where you can live under your own roof, under your own rules, where you can have your own community. And those people are gonna accept you for who you are. And I just hope that if you ever do feel like you want to come out, that you can do that and you feel like you are valid enough to do that because you're not a fake queer. If you are a part of the queer community, coming out and sharing yourself with the queer community is not doing harm to the queer community and don't listen to any gatekeeping garbage trucks that tell you otherwise. You are welcome here. As for the internalized homophobia, yeah, a lot of us have that too. <laughs> have you ever considered therapy? <laughs> oh, hey, that's a great transition to our sponsor, BetterHelp. If there is something interfering with your happiness, interfering with you achieving your personal goals, interfering with you living your life as your authentic self, BetterHelp might be something you wanna check out. This is an online counseling service where you get matched based on your needs with your own licensed professional therapist. And this is not a crisis line, it's not self-help, this is professional counseling done securely online. And when you sign up, you can start talking to your counselor within 48 hours. The service is available worldwide, there are counselors that fit a wide variety of needs. Plus, counseling through BetterHelp is often more affordable than traditional face-to-face, in-person counseling, and they do offer financial aid to those who need it. I have personally used BetterHelp and have benefited from my relationship with my counselor on there. Plus, I've been doing online counseling ever since COVID started instead of face-to-face -face counseling, and it's just as helpful, it's just as effective. When you sign up and are matched with a therapist, when you meet with that therapist, if you don't like them, you just click a button and they'll give you a new therapist. It takes so much of the stress and fear out of trying to find the right counselor. So if you want to try BetterHelp for yourself, you can get 10% off when you use my link. It's in the description, betterhelp.com slash Elena. And they do have counselors that specialize in LGBTQ issues if that's what you want to talk about. So click that link, check it out for yourself. Therapy is life-changing and we all need it. Okay, let's see. What other secrets you got for me? There are so many secrets about making out with your best friend. <laughs> Enough that every time I see two best friends, I'm just gonna be like, you guys make out in secret. Doesn't have to be a secret, we all know. Did any queers growing up not make out with their best friend in secret? Anyone, a single one of us. <laughs> and if not make out, at least like had a hug that like lasted a little too long? You know what I mean? Best friends have gay energy, and you can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> I've sorta knew I was gay for years, but living in a conservative country, I ignored it for years and dated guys in my college. While I was dating one of my ex-boyfriends, I got invited to have dinner with his family, and I met his sister. Let's just say I felt a lot more attraction toward his sister than I did to him, LMAO. And I somehow convinced myself that I just really, really wanted to have good connections with his siblings to be a good girlfriend. Meanwhile, completely forgetting that he also had an older brother. <laughs> Peak queer denial. I just really like his sister because I want to be a good girlfriend and I want to show him that I have connections with his family. But his brother? Who? <laughs> I just really want to get close to his sister for him, you know? Like we're kissing for him. <laughs> I banged your sister for you, dude. For our relationship. Don't know why we're fighting about this. Oh, kitten. Oh my word. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I was just wondering when. You are naughty. I am incredibly clumsy, but I also have great reflexes. Let it be known. Ooh, <laughs> short and sweet. I told my parents, I still live with them. I was working overtime one night when really I was just going to have sex with another guy. <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad. 
whoa, I just assumed it was mom and dad. Like I'm assuming that it's mom and dad because I'm assuming that you needing to hide your queer sex from them would mean that they're not queer. But also, you said parents and I said mom and dad. That's on me. I've got some internalized homophobia to work out myself, turns out. For the longest time, I thought that while masturbating, every woman fantasizes about other women orgasming. Yeah, I'm definitely not straight. Still trying to figure out if I'm gay or bi though. Is that not one of the quintessential queer experiences is like thinking or assuming that other women feel the same way that you feel? Like I really thought that all best friends had sex with each other <laughs> and that we just didn't talk about it because of Jesus. Nope, turns out I'm a homo. Whoa, this one just gave me goosebumps for some reason. I'm exposing, I'm exposing myself and what's important to me here. <clears throat> I feel like that tells you something about me, but I'm not sure what it is. I didn't think I was capable of finishing during partnered sex. I had been with many men and never once even came close. I finally realized that I was a lesbian last year at 29 Hi, welcome, and started dating my current partner. I let her know that I had never orgasmed during sex and that it might not happen with her. Needless to say, that notion only lasted about 15 minutes. I am so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. I've had a crush on my friend ever since I met her in secondary school in 2017. I just didn't know it. When we eventually became BFFs a year later, she came out as bi and sometimes under the table in class, we would play footsies and I'd get off on it. Even though she doesn't know it, she made me realize I'm gay and I believe she had feelings for me too. I was just too scared to say anything in the fear that my mom would find out. Anyways, it's been two years since I moved from the UK to Spain and I still fantasize about her to get off. Every time. <laughs> One time I was at a bar with some coworkers who I did not know well, drank a little bit too much and ended up in the bathroom stall with two women who were strangers prior. I ate out one woman as she was standing up and I was on my knees inside of the stall, laugh out loud while the other woman directed me and was telling me what to do. I'm also normally not submissive, lol. I don't remember much else, but I'm sure it was fun for everyone. Oh, also, I think I disappeared for like an hour and the coworkers were wondering where I was. I don't remember what I told them. How, how does a situation like that happen? Women's bathrooms at bars when everybody's drunk are a spectacle. So I can, I can, I can see, I can visualize ending up with two women that you don't know in the stall. How you end up at the next parts, I'm not so sure, but good for you. Excellent secret, thank you for sharing. I'm 26 and have been with my fiance, male, for four years now. We bought a house together last year. The problem is I'm pretty certain I'm gay. I've said I'm bi for the last 12 years, but I don't think men are sexually attractive. My fiance is my best friend and our life together is really chill. <sighs> yes, I understand. I have been there. It's hard. That's a hard place to be in. However, another problem is women make me super nervous, like insanely nervous. I'm really self-conscious and insecure and women really intimidate me. I think they're all just so beautiful. It ends up making me feel like I'm not good enough for them. I think the only reason I've dated men is because I can't compare myself physically with them. Therapy? Have you tried therapy? <laughs> I don't mean that in a condescending way. I hope it doesn't come off like that. Genuinely, it sounds like you have an understanding of what's going on internally for you. And there could be a very real possibility that you are selling yourself short on living a full, beautiful life by staying in a relationship with a man when you know that you're gay, by not overcoming those insecurities in order to explore your life and, and figure out who you are and what you need. And also you are good enough for women. You are. I guarantee it. This was so well written. Your punctuation was on point. Not a spelling error in sight. Women love that <laughs> When I was around 13, I would wait for my family in the flat to fall asleep, take my phone, hide under the covers, and browse through online women's sex lingerie shops. Could do it for more than an hour and fall asleep around 2 a.m. because of that. I would tell myself I'm just really into the design of the bra, which seems so ridiculous now. And even though I did this quite often and there were many other signs, I realized I was a lesbian only four years later. <laughs> I'm just picturing like little you under your covers, like looking at women in lingerie, like, ooh, yes. <laughs> I like the shape of the cup on that one. <laughs> mm, the color of the lace is really great design choice here. 
Oh, I'm in love with my therapist, but I don't want to tell her in case she doesn't want to see me anymore. I want to talk to her about it because that's what therapy is for, right? But I'm scared at how awkward that conversation would be. That's what therapy is for. Tell your therapist. I'm sure she's heard it before. I think it's called not compersion. Is compersion when you enjoy seeing your partner with other people? Because then I don't think that's the word I'm looking for. Trans transference. Transference? I think. My crushes never go fully away. Like, I'll get a crush on someone and it'll go away, but if I go back to looking, talking, and everything with that person, it's very likely I will get that crush back. That's not an experience that I have, so I find that interesting. My crushes definitely come and go. But let me know in the comments down below. How do your crushes fluctuate? Do your crushes go away? Do they stay forever? That's interesting. I used to have a lot of male coworkers and I was told by another coworker that the guy started a bet as to who could get the lesbian to sleep with them. And I mean like physical money. So naturally when I found this out, I with all their egos, making them think that they were gonna win so that they would bet more money. I quit that job, didn't sleep with a single guy, and the person that told me about the bet in the first place won the money and split it with me. I then used that money to take my girlfriend on a date. And that's how you say to homophobes, to misogynists, to dickheads at work. Oh, <laughs> okay. The creativity of some folks. I love it. I'm a single gay man who plays Pokemon Go daily. Remember that game? There's this feature in the game where you trade Pokemon with other players and sometimes the trade is lucky. Whenever I have a lucky trade with this one person, I end up sleeping with them. We slept together multiple times already. <laughs> I don't personally want Pokemon involved in my sex life, but I applaud the creativity. I didn't realize I was a lesbian until I was almost 30 because I legitimately thought everyone who was attracted to guys felt repulsed by messing around with them because guys are just kind of gross. LOL, no I am gay. <laughs> Again, we all seem to think that everybody just shares these experiences and doesn't talk about them. And in some cases, that's so true. But kind of like on the other side of the coin, like so many of us kissed our best friend and then didn't tell anybody because we were ashamed of it. Or like so many of us assume that everyone Googles boobs when they're younger just because they're curious. I'm a bisexual woman and didn't realize until after entering a relationship with another man. It's been a year now. He's a great partner and gives me many things I need to be emotionally happy. But the Sex is pretty disappointing and as every unsuccessful night goes by, I start fantasizing more and more about being with a woman. Is he a great partner or is he a great friend? I pose that question to you. Oh no, I'm married to a woman and I'm not out to my family except for my brother. My mom thinks it's perfectly normal that I moved 500 miles away and bought a house with my college roommate five years after we graduated from college. We're just gal pals. I know some people like that as well. When your graves are next to each other, are they still gonna be like, oh, we remember Clara? and June. They were just the best of friends. <laughs> we all wish we could have friendships like Clara and June did. It's amazing, it amazes me. I need to, this is like, I have enough, but I just don't wanna stop. I just don't wanna stop, it's so fun. I thought I didn't like porn, but recently found out I just didn't like the men in porn. Self-discovery. We're developing the plot. I'm a lesbian and my best friend is a lesbian. I helped them get with their now current girlfriend that they met on Tinder, but had a crush on them the whole time. Not really a confession, but just a rant about how I was too. And now I take photography pictures of them together. Oh no, oops, sorry, the mic. No, you, that probably doesn't feel very good. I'm sorry. There will be other lesbians. There will be other lesbians. Good for you for continuing to support your best friend in their relationship. <laughs> My gayest secret? I'm 12 years old and I watch your channel. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Do, am I? I'm not bad enough to be kept a secret. Or is the secret that you watch my channel because you're gay? I hope it's that way around. But also I'm sorry that you have to keep the fact that you're gay a secret. Um, just don't keep me a secret. You're 12 and you hurt my feelings. <laughs> I cheated on my boyfriend with a woman. Two years later I'm dating her and couldn't be happier. We got there. We got there in the end. Maybe not the highest road to take, but we got there. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do who you gotta do, sometimes. It, it do be like that. How many more? <laughs> One more. No, here's another. <laughs> Incest secret? Not quite. My older cousin was my gay awakening. Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? <laughs> okay. 
We'll end with this one. Lost my virginity to my first boyfriend at 16. It ended badly and he broke my heart. Five years later, I slept with his sister. It was my first time with a woman. <laughs> That's it. That's it for this video. Thank you again to BetterHelp for partnering with me. If you use that link in my description, betterhelp.com slash Elena, you can get 10% off. And you can talk with your counselor in whatever form feels most comfortable to you. So if you want to message with your counselor, if you want to have phone calls, video chats, all of those methods of communication are available. So click that link, check it out, take care of yourself. And also a huge thank you as always to my VIP patrons, my Vitaly important producers. I love you all so much. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your likes and for your comments and just for this wonderful little community that we have here in this corner of the internet. Okay, that's it for me. I love you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Also, I hear you. I heard your feedback about my hair touching the mic being distracting. Today I have focused less on hiding the mic and more on keeping the mic away from my hair. I hope this is better.